Many businesses in the forest products industry have been investing in the latest high-tech equipment to increase efficiency, productivity, and revenue. Idaho sawmills have been modernized with high-tech equipment to get the most out of every log they process. Idaho loggers use high-tech equipment to increase speed and production. Professional foresters use high-tech instruments to save time and produce high-quality plans for clients. It all shows how Idaho's forest products industry is staying on the leading edge of a high-tech world. Mike Henley of Idaho Forest Group explains how his company has focused on increasing production while running as lean as possible to cope with the reduction in housing starts across the nation. Our company is all about uh, running lean now and we're able to survive. So we survive because we always invest in technology. In the old days, Henley says sawmill workers would make a visual judgment on what kind of lumber to cut from a log. If it was a large log, they'd make a number of 2x12s out of it. They didn't necessarily think about what was selling best in the marketplace at that moment. Today, computerized equipment determines the best value at any given time. Laser scanners are used to analyze every log and computerized logistics systems determine the best size of lumber that should be cut from the log based on current markets. The scanner looks at the log and evaluates it on its highest yield and what that means is it's looking at uh, what products it can produce that we can sell and for the highest of value. We set up the computer systems uh, to always give us the highest value and or highest yield out of the piece. High-tech equipment has allowed Idaho Forest Group to increase capacity from 50,000 board feet per hour to 60 to 70,000 board feet per hour, an increase of 40 percent. Technology also allows Idaho Forest Group to fully utilize every aspect of a log at the mill, from the bark to wood chips to sawdust. When a log is unloaded from a log truck, uh, there, there's no waste. We utilize 100% of every log. The bark is sold for landscaping, for beauty bark. That sawdust gets sold to uh, customers who use it for energy logs, for pellets, for plywood. We make chips in this process, and those chips get sold to uh, normally a paper mill, and they will make paper products. Sawmills aren't the only forest businesses that incorporate technology at every opportunity. There is a lot of science and technology, a lot more sophistication than what anybody realizes to make a sheet of paper. Electricians, instrument guys and maintenance guys, computer controls, they're highly skilled individuals. When you're making a sheet of paper at 5,000 feet a minute and it's 225 inches wide to get a nice uniform sheet, it's surprisingly highly technical and sophisticated. Loggers also utilize the latest in technology with sophisticated heavy equipment that allows them to cut more trees at a faster pace. Ron Coleman's logging crew uses feller bunchers to cut multiple trees at once and log processors to remove the limbs and prepare the logs for loading onto log trucks. We usually would move three million board feet a year and uh, by doing it by hand, which is quite a bit for just a three-man crew, we move twice that much. Now, same crew with mechanical equipment. Technology is very important. Professional foresters save time in the field now with new technology like a data recorder. The instruments allow foresters to record information in the woods and download to a computer in the office. These things are um, virtually indestructible. They're weatherproof. They work under all different temperatures. and. Um, conditions. I've uh, been around long enough to witness their evolution and they went from unreliable, cumbersome pieces of equipment to something that's very efficient that saves us a lot of time and money. David Gabrielson, a professional forester for Hancock Forest Management, says that other forms of technology like cell phones and GPS units have been a big help as well. In terms of on-the-ground implementation of technology has, has been a huge impact. Um, Cell phone is, is one thing that's, you know, we can communicate many places where we were never able to communicate before. GPS is another big impact. 
um, running property lines and finding corners. Um, that's been huge advances there. GIS is another big adv advance in technology that we've used. The Android technology is some of the new stuff that's going to come. You get out on a site and you're relying on what you can carry in your brain for all the ins and outs of what you're going to have. An Android allows you to carry all that history right at the tip of your fingers. The widespread use of technology in the forest products industry creates job opportunities for tech-savvy young people who already are proficient in the use of computers, cell phones, and video game controllers. If you can do an Xbox, a Wii, an old Nintendo, or in my case an Atari, then you can hop in one of these and within an hour or so you've caught on to the concept of how to operate a machine. It's very, very similar to a video game. From the forest to the mill, technology is an essential and ever-changing part of forest businesses. Tech-savvy students should look for internships to get the training they need for a career. The training is absolutely essential for those types of jobs because it continues to evolve with the technology that it's actually a lot more technical of a job than it used to be, which should make it more interesting to the younger generations.